The fires in Australia have touched off a massive wave of support around the world. Everyone is searching for ways to help, not just the families, but the animals deprived of their homes. And in a story that is positively San Diego, our tenders reporter Rena Nakano shows you how one woman's handiwork is bringing her tiny town together in a big way. Good fetch, come here. There will be many more pups in Symphony Ariosta's yard if she could afford it. I love animals. If I could, you know, I'd run a rescue myself, but I figure if I can't do that, then why not, you know, use my talents and trades to kind of help help the ones that need it. And the ones in need right now are in Australia. It obviously tugged at the heartstrings a lot. Seeing these images on the news reminded Ariosta of the tragedy her family experienced in the 2007 Rice Canyon fire in Fallbrook. It's heartbreaking. I feel like no matter like where in the world you are, if you can't help, why not? What could she do without breaking the bank? She searched online and found Rescue Craft Co, a group dedicated to handicrafts. There's wildlife pouches, there's bat wraps, there's little marsupial bags, hanging pouches. Fuzzy little homes for injured and orphaned animals in Australia. Crocheting bird's nests is Ariosta's go-to. They're quick and they're easy to pump out, so it's kind of my favorite thing to do. In the last three days, she recruited several people from the tiny town of Rainbow and neighboring Fallbrook to join her cause. Bringing everyone together in that way over a common kind of unifier has really just made a huge difference and it's kind of brought our community together as well. A tight-knit community coming together one stitch at a time. It might seem a little cheesy, but baby steps are still steps forward and so that's kind of where we're going from there. In Rainbow, Rena Nakano, 10 News. Yeah, many people can join and they can mm -hmm. have a big impact. Baby steps That's is where it starts. And Ariosta says local shipping company Going Postal has offered to send the goods every week to Australia. That is Good for great. Them. Yeah. She also says that she has printed out simple patterns and left them at the Fallbrook Library if anybody else wants to join the cause.